Little side note before this video begins, fellas, I have unfortunately come down with the virus. So if my voice it sounds, sounds a, little a little off in this video, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> For the fellas with a keen eye, you might have noticed a couple weeks ago there was no rapid fire screen review for the DRX skins. And that's one because most of them are just, uh, fine. But primarily it's because what value can I even provide talking about them? They are all designed with very specific people in mind. Barrel wanted to turn Ash into a Honkai Impact OC, that was his choice, the designers did just that. What amount of critique can I really offer? The skin line was tailor made for them specifically, it's not like the skin line was tailor made for me. Holy shit you guys, the skin line was tailor made for me specifically. Not only is it one of my favorite skin lines from 2021, not only did I advocate for the skin line to be one of the top 10 I was hoping to make a return, but literally every single chosen champion here is one of my favorite champions of all time. Two of which being in my top four most favorite fellas. <laughs> yeah, boy. Needless to say, I was pretty excited about Shanghai Scrolls making their glorious re-debut for real this time. While the Wild Rift exclusive Shanghai Scrolls, Aatrox, and Volibear are fine, they're kind of just more of the same. What did you say? I was worried that if Shanghai Scrolls ever did make a proper comeback on PC, they would fall into the Project High Noon and Blood Moon trap, where subsequent releases don't really try anything new with a thematic, it's just more of what we've already seen. And while I'm no expert on Chinese mythology, I do know at least that the Shanghai Scrolls universe is loosely based on the classic of mountains and seas. So while our first run of the skin line focused on the mountains, this time we focused on the seas, hence the much bluer color scheme. So yeah, you can tell I'm pretty excited about this bunch, even if there's not many of them. But honestly, I kind of prefer it that way. Makes each of them feel all the more special, you know? So let's get going, shall we? Starting with Shanghai Scrolls Bard. It's just not possible. How could it be that every single Bard skin that has ever released has been a certified banger? In this universe, Bard is depicted as the wise old god of the plants, traveling all over the world to help nature heal. What the hell was in... Why can I get it right the first time and not? <coughs> in this universe, Bard is depicted as the wise old god of the plants, traveling all over the world to help nature heal with the help of his enchanted horn he fashioned out of a broken branch. And come on, man! The plants growing all over him, the little Lorax goobers taking a hot spring bath in the W, Danny DeVito. the sound design. Let's go! At this point, I consider it an impossibility for a Bard skin to miss. Emerald is the best chroma. 10 out of 10. Shanghai Scrolls Lilia. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, finally! It feels like it's been 10,000 years since Lilia got a new skin, and this one is. Yeah, it's okay. I do find it quite humorous that Riot has put horns on her in every single skin except her base version. Honestly, that's more of an ego boost for my Lilia redesign more than anything. While we've had several gods and monsters from this skin line, Lilia is our first spirit. Using her sensor <gasps> to spread a calming mist as she carries the legendary sunbird home every night. Okay. okay. The sound design is really where this one excels for me, because honestly, it doesn't really get a lot of emotion out of me. Perhaps after waiting so long, my expectations were placed a bit too high, but as it stands, this one's fine. Ruby is the best chroma. 7 out of 10. Shanghai Scrolls Kogma. This champion is an enigma. Alongside Thresh, he is the only monster champion to get new skins consistently, and they've all been amazing every time. And this one in particular is quite strange. Being a water dragon turtle. Thing. Got a bit of giraffe -er energy going on with the sentient tail. Cog translates pretty fantastically to being a Chinese dragon. I imagine this would look even better if I'd ever decide to give him a proper visual update. Or any other champion a proper visual update for that matter. I don't really like any of these chromas, but Rose Quartz is the best. 8 out of 10. Shanghai Scrolls Tom Kench. Like Bart, I think we can confirm now that it's pretty much statistically impossible for Tom Kench to receive a bad skin. A catfish turned dragon after consuming a magic pearl, and it's really nice, you can see both inspirations there. But the attention to detail is what I really love about this one. The water coat, the spinning pearl in place of his hat, the health regen effect being swirling water. And I especially love one of Bard's meeps showing up in his joke emo <laughs> and the turtle in his recall. It's some nice callbacks to some of the other skins in this line. While I don't think it quite reaches the masterpiece level of High Noon or Arcana Tom Kench, it's still another fantastic skin added to his already fantastic lineup. Pearl is the best chroma, 9 out of 10. Overall, the new Shanghai Scroll skins get a solid 8.5 out of 10. What an amazing return to such an amazing skin line. And while I don't think they quite reach the heights of the original batch, I am incredibly pleased Riot actually tried something different with the universe instead of just playing it safe. 
It's something I wish other popular skin thematics had the gall to do project. But those are my thoughts. What do you fellas think of Shanghai Scrolls' return? Are you as ecstatic as me? Or perhaps your soul is empty and devoid of all joy? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Until next time though, fellas, I guess I'll be seeing you in the next video.